A mother conceived after trying for a baby multiple times, but was horrified when the doctors told her something during a prenatal scan. They diagnosed her unborn baby girl with a rare condition, stating that she would have mermaid legs and eventually pass away. Becoming a mother is one of the biggest dreams of many women, and Noelle Spivey was no different. However, she had to try multiple times before her pregnancy test results finally showed she was pregnant. Spivey was delighted to learn about her pregnancy. It was finally time for her to do the things she had dreamt of. Everything was going well for the Texas mom-to-be until she went for her 12-week scan and learned a horrifying truth. Expecting a baby after struggling to conceive one was nothing short of a miracle for Spivey. However, her happiness turned into horror when the doctor entered the hospital room and said, Your baby has a fatal condition. The mom-to-be, dreaming of holding her baby in her arms a few months later, immediately broke into tears after hearing the doctor's words. She got pregnant after struggling for a long time, and the thought of losing her baby broke her heart into a million pieces. The doctors told Spivey her baby would be born with Siren Amelia, a condition where the child's legs are twisted from the knee and fused together, making them look like mermaid's legs. With all sorts of fears in her mind, Spivey went to the hospital for her 37-week scan. It felt like an eternity while we were in there, Spivey recalled. Learning about her baby's rare condition left her feeling terrified. She thought she wouldn't be able to look at her baby because of it. Despite knowing that her baby girl's chances of survival were slim, Spivey continued her pregnancy. Throughout the weeks leading to the child's birth, the doctors ran multiple tests to monitor her pregnancy. Meanwhile, Spivey learned new things about babies with Siren Amelia. She discovered that kids with this condition sometimes don't have a kidney or intestines. She felt worried after learning that some babies with this condition are born with missing genitals. With all sorts of fears in her mind, Spivey went to the hospital for her 37-week scan. The doctors had planned to perform a C-section a few weeks later, but after learning that she had low amniotic fluid, they decided it was time. Spivey went under the knife for an emergency C-section. Seeing her daughter Blair for the first time was one of the best moments of Spivey's life. Soon after giving birth, Spivey met Blair. The little one was crying but immediately stopped when she felt her mother's hand on her head. Spivey said, I had been terrified of the unknown, but seeing her in person, I was just calm. Little Blair underwent surgery to fix her intestines a day after her birth. However, the doctors still believed her condition wouldn't allow her to walk. They had no idea that the brave girl would beat all odds. At 18 months, Blair underwent a 7-hour surgery, but it was on her legs this time. The doctors amputated her legs from her knees and later fitted a prosthesis on her knees. Spivey said, I tell her she was born a mermaid. In 2022, little Blair got her first artificial legs and recently took her first steps. Meanwhile, Spivey felt proud watching her daughter prove the doctors wrong. It was a proud moment for her to watch her baby girl walk because it reminded her of when the doctor said her baby wouldn't survive. I hope for a long, happy, healthy life for her, the 35-year-old mother said. She revealed that her daughter plays wheelchair tennis and enjoys cheerleading. Spivey feels blessed to have Blair in her life, and it makes her happy to see that her girl lives like other children her age. Despite being born with a life-threatening condition, Blair continues to prove that her existence is nothing short of a miracle. We wish the little one all the best and hope she brings unlimited joy to her family's life. Spivey's bravery, determination, and resilience helped her come this far despite the odds.